This, this, this is, is a, a Kai moment. moment. I'm really excited about this kind episode. When word of the KMS flame changes and all that uh, controversy occurred, I immediately put aside this episode's plans. And subsequently, because of that, I also had to uh, put aside a couple of other episodes uh, off on the side, because the way I'm doing my equipment progression, uh, the sequence of it, I can't get the other stuff done first before I get this done. But yes, as the title implies, this is going to be about flames, and I am pretty excited about it. I have waited for this very specific change to happen after they announced it, because I actually have been holding on to this flame uh, project since then. So now I can start and finally begin the journey. So for those that don't know, uh, flames were rigged and they s finally fixed it so that they weren't. Every line that you can get from a flame is now equal chance. The waiting between the tiers is still the same though, I believe, or uh, something like that. If you may have noticed during the B-Pod episode, as I fused equips, the flames actually got reset and re -rode. And unlike powerful rebirth flames, which have a tier range of tier 3 to tier 6, or eternal flames, which have a uh, tier range of tier 4 to tier 7 with boss advantage items. Uh, when you fuse, you actually get the whole range of that, so you get from 3 to 7. But basically, in the lieu of this um, flame change, uh, flame prices have gone up dramatically. So if I just look up flame, I say, I guess. Wait a second, how come... Did these just drop in price? Hold on. I could have sworn just like a second ago. Yeah, what the hell? They were all like 100 mil each. But yeah, because of the flame changes, flame prices have actually gone up tremendously. Even uh, powerful rebirth flames have almost doubled in price. However, like I was saying, it, there's actually a much cheaper alternative than to buy flames, and that is fusing. So, uh, here I have some uh, CRAs uh, that I've gotten from Maplehood that I want to show for example. So you can see the flame here and the flame here. So if I fuse these two, uh, the flames will get re-rolled, and they will get re-rolled with the new uh, RNG logic, and now we have a new flame. So that is basically what I am going to do. Last episode I did do a bunch of shopping, so I already have a top and a bottom. So I'm not going to be working on that. Where the hell's the bottom? Oh, it's right here. So the main focus of this episode is actually going to be on the hat. But I have a little bit of OCD, and I like having my CRA pieces to be as equal as possible. So I am going to redeem other classes' uh, equips, so I think uh, maybe I will... Uh, let's do Mage, yeah. Just cause, why not? So with all these CRA pieces that I've stockpiled over time and was too lazy to redeem and sell, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to redeem mage stuff for the top and bottom. And then I will get a bowman hat. And then I'm just going to check the flames on all of the stuff. And since I got nothing good, I am going to fuse and hopefully get a pretty good flame. Nothing. I'm actually not hoping for something as high as what I ended up buying in the last episode, like the 50s and whatever all stat. Uh, it just so happens to be that, like, it was just cheap to get, so I decided to get it. I think I'm going to settle for, like, 48, 10, 4, but basically I'm gonna be hoping for a uh, good two-liner. This is a great way to save money on flaming stuff uh, if you already have the CRE pieces, but let's say, for example, you're a brand new player, you probably can't kill CRE, so you wouldn't be able to do this. But uh, nevertheless, though, I would say what you should do when it comes to flaming is sort of just look at like what you're flaming and seeing if uh, just buying a second copy of the equip is cheaper than buying a flame itself. Because in my opinion, it's probably financially uh, wiser to look at those prices and 
figure out if you should fuse or if you should red flame. So things that you should totally reflame are like the super super cheap stuff like CRA and all that. Things that you shouldn't uh, fuse for flames, maybe like your Absolab equipment and whatever. I mean, just just look at your own market. That's that's all I can say. Ooh, oh, ah, uh, 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 uh. man. If only that was attack power, that would have been good. Uh, but you know what? I think I'll keep that. I don't want to spend like too much on flames or whatever, right? This actually lasted much shorter than I expected, so how about this? I will redeem one more set, and then I'll just start fusing this hat uh, completely new with everything else. And then if I get a better flame, then I'll just sell the other hat, I suppose, or give it away. It really doesn't matter. Oh right, I almost forgot about something. I did this before I started recording. I went over to the auction house and I actually bought some cheap hats. Not as cheap as I'd like them to be. I would have thought that uh, CRA pieces would have been just dirt cheap, but I guess because of the way it, uh, the redeeming system works, it's just like nobody really wants to actually um, redeem their medals. They're all just lazy and it's much more easier to just stockpile them or whatever. But yes, I did buy a whole bunch of uh, hats for this. So let's do a whole segment here. Wait, 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 wait. did I just... Oh, okay. I thought I uh, bought a f pretty good flame and I just didn't notice. Okay, not bad. Uh, so I'm really happy about the flame change for other classes because of how rigged it was for strength. Strength was free after all this time, uh, so I'm happy for the other um, classes more than anything. If only that was a 56 and 6, but then again, this is a Bowman hat, so never mind. Uh, so yeah, I was saving for this moment. Oh yeah, there we go. So here's a tier 7. Uh, if that was all stat, that would have been really good, actually. But, uh, yeah, you can get anywhere from tier 3 to tier 7 with fusing. But, yes, I needed to get flaming done first before I could get star forcing and transfer hammer done, so that's why I needed to do it now. I use, uh, the powerful rebirth flames from the Legion coin shop. Uh, I haven't done this in forever because I've been using the coins for meso coupons for my grind to 270, but since I've done that for now, I can use a little bit of it. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to be using these free uh, red flames, and I'm going to redo my Absolab. I'm going to say I'm going to work on the shoe, and I can't really get stuff done all in one recording, so I'm just basically doing this more to show as an example for inspiration or for reference for people who are looking to fund themselves or for uh, muscle making ideas. This is basically more to that more than anything. Uh, but yeah, let's see if I can get some good flames. Oh, this is like one of those moments where it's like, you know, if you squint very closely, you can change the magic attack to an attack and then the jump to an all stack. It's like, it's close, but not close at all. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? It's okay, because now we are going to head over to the next character. I guess what I'm trying to say with all of this is that, like, there's kind of two parts in progression in regular server. Uh, the first part is figuring out how to make meso. And the second part is figuring out what's the best way to spend your mess. So, and uh, I know lots of people have questions for both. And oh, 40 and. Eh, nah, nah. This is gonna be my last meal before I stop. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to show, like, how stingy I can be when it comes to funding. And although in my history of Road to Max Damage, I may not have done the most perfectly efficient cheapest way to fund myself uh, I'm certainly thinking about it for the most part so I don't really have much to say about the matter anymore in terms of uh, flaming it's just like really uh, now that the logic has changed now's a good time to flame your stuff if you're not a strength user if you're st a strength user I mean just still flame because it's not like you could do anything. It would have been wiser to flame your strength stuff uh, before the change. But yeah, this was originally my plan for what I was going to do for my kinds equips before I ended up finding those uh, pretty good equips in the auction house. Uh, so, well, that goes to show that sometimes plans can just get thrown off. And like I said in the shopping episode, that's what makes uh, regular servers so exciting for me. 
is, you know, the uncertainty of it all. But yeah, that's it. Uh, that's the flame episode, honestly. Uh, that's all I really wanted to show. I don't know when I'm gonna get the flames that I want on, uh, my kind's equips, and frankly, I think the next time I'm gonna work on this is probably, like, during the next event when free flames are gonna be given out, and even then, I'm probably going to be flaming my pat marks, so it's gonna be a long while before I go back into working on my flame stuff, but for, like I said, for all intents and purposes, the point of this video it has been made already. Uh, I use fusion and I use crafting to never have to pay for anything considering I'm able to farm everything for myself and uh, I have the materials needed to fuse uh, things for free or for cheap. And uh, what you should get out of this is basically like, oh, is it wiser to fuse? Uh, or should I be actually, you know, get buying flames or crafting my flames for uh, re-rolling my flame on my equips? Because, I mean, you could technically, in this current economy right now, as of this episode, uh, you could just craft your flames, sell the flames, and then just buy the bowman hats, and you could get, like, twice the amount of re-rolls than if you actually were to use a uh, red flame so it's really just like you just gotta look at the prices of like the materials and the flames and then look at the prices of the equips that you're trying to flame and then just basically base your decision off that so i hope you guys got something out of this thanks for watching this was a little bit of a weird one for me but uh just because this was the one thing that got thrown off my entire plan for the series uh so it's a little bit awkward Anyways, thanks for watching. Again, apologies for the mess of this episode. I just wanted to get this done in one recording session. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry once again, but I still hope you enjoyed watching the video. And I'll see you guys next time, alright? Take care. Bye-bye. This was a car.